Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to hide nearby Wi-Fi connections from your listed network, sometimes called network profiles. Take a look right here. Here's a before and after. And let's see, we'll play with Mad Fox Pet. So I want this off of my list for whatever reason. There's a few different ways to do this. It's all PowerShell related and relatively simple to do, albeit there's a whole bunch of commands that can get a bit confusing, but it's not that bad. Keep in mind, if you're on a laptop or a Surface device, for example, you might want to be extra careful because you don't want to block off being able to see everything around you as you travel, for example. So let's open up the command prompt or PowerShell. I'm on Windows 10, so I'm going to press the Windows key plus X and I'm going to do PowerShell as admin. And once that's open, check the video description for this page so you can get this code, or if you're a typing fanatic, knock yourself out. So let's get rid of, where'd he go? There he goes, Mad Fox Pet. You ready? So let's highlight this code right up to and including the first quote and click copy. Control V will paste that in there. And we know the name is, I keep losing it too, that's the funny part, it comes and goes. Where'd it go? I just want to make sure we type it right and we can see it. Of course, it loves to come and go right in the middle of a video, which is not the best time of all, but hey. So, so you know how it is. Sometimes it'll show up, sometimes it won't. And now it doesn't want to. Whoop. There it is. All right. That give you some time to catch up. So Mad Fox Pet. Now come back here and including the quote, go right to that, copy. The reason for this is it saves you the trouble of making a typo. Press enter and the filter is added. So it should be gone, but as you saw, sometimes you're not sure. So let's take a look. We're going to come back to this. And we're going to jump a step to step three, view all your filters. Copy and paste that in and press enter. And here he is right here. I've been removing these as I go to play around with this. And there's Mad Fox Pet removed. So it should not show up in this list anymore. Now you can do that over and over again. Or we have another way which I'm going to show you and that's up to you. Be a little bit more careful with this area. This is going to allow you to basically whitelist only what you want. So for example, let's say I know that these two connections are mine. So what I can do is I can actually type this in just like we did earlier, copy, paste, fill in the Wi-Fi name, copy, paste. So if I add this and then this, now type in this or copy and paste it. When I get done doing that, the only thing I'm going to see is those two. And since this is my actual main desktop work computer because virtual machine doesn't have Wi-Fi. I got to stick with not doing it live. I don't want to mess anything up too much. Now, the neat thing about that is you can only do so much damage. Again, I mentioned it might seem a little confusing. In the section at the top, if you added one, you can use this code right here and add one back, which again, as I mentioned, you can see by typing in the command we did here to allow you to show. So he's like, wait a minute, I want to put squiggly back. That would be this code. Yes, we are bouncing around, but it's there's a lot of different codes here that you can use. Um, so again, this one here, once you type that in, approve them, and then this one will hide everything but. There you go. And then once again, put that in. If something goes wrong, you want to restore everything. So um, you can also use this line here you can kind of read the command and get an idea removing all approved networks you can always do that while changing the wi-fi name allowing you to do it that way so there's a few different things you can do here it's kind of cool but i think most you're going to find depending where you are that you might just want to remove a handful of them because it becomes a real pain especially if you're in a big city new york chicago la you know and you're in an apartment building and you're picking up just tons of tons of them. I would probably work my way down to here just to prove the handful you want, you and your neighbor, for example, and then go ahead and hide everything else. That'll really clear it up. So kind of an OCD thing, but hey, what can you do? So hopefully that helps you out. There's some other cool similar articles down here as well. A little bit of information about auto-tuning, which is cool. Deleting wireless network profiles, which is actually very, very similar in a way to what we're doing. And that's just showing you 
for example, it's another way you could do it without what we just did. You could come down here, find something you don't need, and you see it has to be one of your networks. That's why we did it this way with PowerShell. If it's yours, for example, you know you want to always connect to five, you can right click and click on forget. Sadly, we can't do that with all our neighbors, which would literally save us the trouble of all this work. So go ahead and check those articles out as well. Bottom right corner, you can click subscribe by clicking on the Major Geek logo as always. You've got to throw that in there, you know. So, hey, thanks for watching as always. See ya.